Good morning. I'm Jeff McQuillan from English as a Second Language podcast. And today, when I woke up, instead of deciding to write my blog post, I thought I would just record a little video. So I thought it would be interesting, instead of writing about something related to the newspaper, which is what I like to do, I would just record this little video and talk about it. So I'm going to talk about some of the news stories in today's newspapers. So let's get started and take a look at some of the headlines in the English language newspapers this morning. I'm going to start with the newspaper that I read almost every morning, the Wall Street Journal. One of the headlines, the main story in the paper today, is <clears throat> Fed Steps Up Bank Scrutiny. Fed here refers to the Federal Reserve, which is sort of like our, our national bank here in the United States. Now, the main verb in this headline is step up. Fed Steps Up bank scrutiny. To step up is a two-word phrasal verb which means to increase, to have more of. One of the jobs of the Federal Reserve in the United States is to regulate and make sure that the big banks, all banks, are doing what they're supposed to. So when it says the Fed is going to step up bank scrutiny, it means that the Fed is going to start examining or investigating banks more closely. The word scrutiny here means looking at something more closely, investigating it more seriously. Now, that's the lead or main story in the Wall Street Journal this morning for Tuesday, March 31st. Um, some of the other newspapers have political or international stories leading the uh, news. Another newspaper that we'll look at this morning is the U.S. edition of the Financial Times. The Financial Times of London is similar to the Wall Street Journal in the United States. It's their main financial newspaper. And not surprisingly, their lead story this morning is also related to business. It reads, deal makers have fastest start since 2007. The key word in the headline here is deal makers. A deal is an agreement between two people, usually a business agreement, but not always, some sort of agreement. So a deal maker is a person who makes agreements. This particular story is about companies that are buying other companies, practicing what we would call a, the uh, act of acquisition, of acquiring another company, when one company buys out another company and takes it over. The headline says, deal makers have fastest start, meaning that they have done more in the last three months of this year than they have in any year since 2000. Seven. Finally, we'll look at the Daily Telegraph of London. Their main headline this morning is Miliband Stung by Business Backlash. Well, you have to understand a little bit about British politics to understand this headline. Miliband refers to Ed Miliband. He's the head of the Labour Party in the United Kingdom. And you may know, or you may not, that the United Kingdom is about to have an election in which it will basically choose the, min the uh, members of parliament. Parliament is the equivalent to our Congress in, or one part of our Congress in the United Kingdom. Anyway, Ed Miliband is the head of one of the political parties. It says he's stung by business backlash. To be stung by something means to be hurt by it. You can think of a bee uh, 
flying around. This is this is a bee uh, flying around, and it has a little thing at the in its body called a stinger, and it uh, the verb is to sting. So to sting someone would for for a bee to sting someone would be to use its little stinger and poke it into your skin, which of course hurts. Um, Stung is the past tense of the verb to sting. So to be stung by something or someone means to be hurt by something or someone. In this case, it's by business backlash. A backlash is a reaction, a negative reaction to something that you do. So although I haven't read this story um, in its completely, uh, in its entirety rather, um, I believe it's about uh, several businesses in Great Britain saying that Ed Miliband, if he were to win the election, would be bad for business because he is from the Labor Party and one of the things the Labor Party wants to do apparently is to increase taxes and regulation on business and of course businesses don't want that. So. Those were some of the headlines from today's paper. This was a bit of an experiment uh, trying to do something a little different with my blog post this morning and talk about some of the headlines that are in today's newspapers. So that's all. If you have any questions or comments, you can uh, put them down below in our comment section. From Los Angeles, California, I'm Jeff McQuillan. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.